Living with diabetes means carefully managing your blood sugar levels. This involves a daily commitment to monitoring and adjusting your lifestyle to keep your health in check. While diet plays a crucial role, exercise is an equally important part of the equation. Choosing the right foods and understanding nutrition labels can make a significant difference. Regular physical activity can be your secret weapon in the fight against diabetes, helping you take control of your health and well-being. Whether it's jogging, joining a fitness class, or practicing yoga at home, every bit of movement counts. Exercise acts like a key, unlocking your cells to allow sugar from your bloodstream to enter and be used for energy. This process is essential for maintaining balanced blood sugar levels. This process helps lower your blood sugar levels, reducing your reliance on medication and improving your body's natural insulin sensitivity. Over time, you may find that you need fewer medications and feel more energized. But the benefits of exercise go far beyond blood sugar control. Engaging in activities like running, cycling, swimming, or even weight training can enhance your overall fitness. Regular physical activity can help you lose weight, lower your blood pressure, improve your cholesterol levels, and contribute to a healthier lifestyle overall, and reduce your risk of heart disease, all common concerns for individuals with diabetes. Keeping your heart healthy is crucial, and exercise plays a vital role in this. In the following sections, we'll explore different types of exercises and how they can be tailored to help you manage your diabetes effectively. From cardio to strength training, we'll cover it all. Let's get moving. Aerobic exercise, also known as cardio, gets your heart rate up and your blood pumping. Think of activities like brisk walking, jogging, swimming, cycling, or dancing. These exercises are like a breath of fresh air for your body, improving your cardiovascular health while effectively managing your diabetes. When you engage in aerobic exercise, your muscles use glucose, or sugar, from your bloodstream for energy, directly lowering your blood sugar levels. Moreover, regular aerobic exercise improves your body's ability to use insulin, further enhancing blood sugar control. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise most days of the week. Moderate intensity means you should be slightly out of breath but still able to hold a conversation. Strength training, also known as resistance training, involves working your muscles against resistance, such as weights, resistance bands, or even your own body weight. While often associated with building muscle mass and strength, strength training also plays a vital role in diabetes management. Muscles are like sponges for glucose. Building muscle mass through strength training increases your body's capacity to store glucose, leading to better blood sugar control. Moreover, strength training can improve insulin sensitivity, helping your body use insulin more effectively. Include strength training exercises for all major muscle groups at least twice a week. You can start with bodyweight exercises like squats, push-ups, and lunges, gradually adding weights or resistance bands as you get stronger. While often overlooked, flexibility and balance exercises are important components of a well-rounded exercise routine, especially for individuals with diabetes. Flexibility exercises like stretching and yoga help improve your range of motion, reduce muscle stiffness, and prevent injuries, making it easier to perform other forms of exercise. Improved flexibility also enhances blood flow, which is beneficial for overall health and diabetes management. Balance exercises, on the other hand, help improve your stability and coordination, reducing your risk of falls. These exercises are particularly important for older adults with diabetes who may be at a higher risk of falls. Incorporate flexibility exercises like stretching after each workout and consider activities like yoga or tai chi for improving both flexibility and balance. Section 5. Finding the Perfect Exercise Balance the best exercise program for diabetes management is one that combines aerobic exercise, strength training, and flexibility exercises. This balanced approach provides comprehensive benefits for blood sugar control, overall health, and well-being. Create an exercise schedule that works for you, 
aiming for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic exercise per week, along with strength training exercises twice a week. Remember to include flexibility exercises after each workout or on dedicated days. Section 6. Listen to your body, talk to your doctor. While exercise is generally safe and beneficial for people with diabetes, it's essential to listen to your body and consult with your doctor before starting any new exercise program. They can help you determine the appropriate intensity and duration of exercise based on your individual health status and fitness level. Pay attention to any warning signs your body may give you during exercise, such as dizziness, lightheadedness, chest pain, or shortness of breath. If you experience any of these symptoms, stop exercising immediately and seek medical attention if necessary. Section 7. Exercise Precautions for People with Diabetes If you have diabetes, there are a few extra precautions to keep in mind when exercising. Exercise is crucial for managing diabetes, but it requires careful planning and monitoring. First, monitor your blood sugar levels. This is essential to ensure your levels remain stable and within a safe range. Check your blood sugar levels before, during, and after exercise, especially if you're taking insulin or other blood sugar lowering medications. This helps you avoid dangerous highs and lows. Next, stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water before, during, and after exercise to prevent dehydration. Dehydration can affect your blood sugar levels and overall performance. Also, eat a healthy snack. This is particularly important if you're planning a long workout session. If you're exercising for more than an hour, or if your blood sugar is low, have a healthy snack before exercising. Wear appropriate footwear. Proper shoes can prevent injuries and provide the support you need. Wear comfortable, supportive shoes that fit well to prevent foot injuries. Be aware of hypoglycemia. Recognizing the signs early can help you take action quickly. Hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, can occur during or after exercise. Symptoms include dizziness, sweating, and confusion. Carry glucose tablets or a sugary drink with you to treat low blood sugar if it occurs. This can quickly raise your blood sugar to a safe level. By taking these precautions, you can exercise safely and effectively manage your diabetes. Regular exercise can improve your overall health and help you maintain better control over your condition. Section 8, Beyond Exercise, a holistic approach to diabetes management. While exercise is a cornerstone of diabetes management, it's important to remember that it's just one piece of the puzzle. Regular physical activity helps to improve insulin sensitivity and can lower blood sugar levels, but it should be complemented with other lifestyle changes for the best results. A holistic approach that encompasses diet, stress management, sleep, and regular medical checkups is essential for optimal blood sugar control and overall well-being. This means looking at the bigger picture and understanding how different aspects of your lifestyle interact with each other. Eating a healthy diet that is low in processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats is fundamental. Incorporating a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can provide the necessary nutrients to help manage diabetes effectively. And rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein is crucial for managing diabetes. Sharing meals with family and friends can also promote healthier eating habits and provide emotional support. Managing stress through techniques like meditation, deep breathing, or yoga can also help regulate blood sugar levels. These practices not only reduce stress, but also improve mental clarity and emotional stability, which are important for making healthy choices. Getting enough sleep is equally important, as sleep deprivation can disrupt hormone balance and increase insulin resistance. Establishing a regular sleep schedule and creating a restful environment can significantly improve your sleep quality. Finally, regular checkups with your doctor are essential for monitoring your blood sugar levels, adjusting medications as needed, and addressing any health concerns. These visits provide an opportunity to discuss any challenges you may be facing and to receive personalized advice for better diabetes management. Section 9. Small Steps, Big Rewards. Starting Your Exercise Journey. 
Starting an exercise program can feel daunting, especially if you haven't been physically active in a while. The key is to start small and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts over time. Begin with short bouts of activity, such as 10-minute walks, and gradually increase the duration as you feel stronger. Find an activity you enjoy and make it a part of your daily routine. Consider finding an exercise buddy to help keep you motivated. Remember that every little bit counts. Even small amounts of physical activity can make a big difference in your blood sugar control and overall health. Section 10. The best exercise is the one you love. The best exercise for controlling diabetes is the one you'll actually do consistently. Whether it's brisk walking, swimming, cycling, dancing, or strength training, find an activity you enjoy and make it a part of your regular routine. Remember that exercise is not a punishment, it's a celebration of your body's ability to move and thrive. Embrace the power of movement and let it be your partner in managing diabetes and living a healthy, fulfilling life.